So now everybody's got a ball. We're going to change the warm up here. And now I'm going to push myself out of system. And just so we're not putting balls in the camera this way, outside you guys go to the outside. And you guys are pushing yourself out of system and then going to the aqua. Cool? Okay, let's do it. So, in some of the stuff that I put here is we identified the goal, right? We're kind of starting to build on it now. Although we're not here to talk about out of system setting. Ideally, depending on the situation, if we could keep this ball five feet off the net and high is kind of relative to who's attacking the ball, we want to put it high enough for that guy to have an opportunity to attack the ball. So for Tim, high is a different than for Brandon here, for example. So we want to just get that ball more about five feet off the net because in this situation, which we'll build in later, in our game, they know where the, they know where the ball's going. So we know we're going to be attacking this ball on a double or even a triple block. And as these guys are just working, I'm going to kind of go through some of these points. So I think, again, a lot of times we go through and start a practice and I feel like it's misguided at times. You know, and our goal is if I know where I want to go at the end of the practice, I got to keep building the layers that are going to make sense. So at the end of our 50 minutes here, we want the guys to go to the locker room and be back at the dorm and understand we got better at out of system setting and out of system attacking. And sometimes I think there's just, in volleyball you could work on so many different things at one time that I think sometimes we wanna try to do everything. Like I wanna get better at serving, passing. I wanna get better at setting today and attacking. I think realistically, if you highlight a couple of those things you're still gonna eventually do those skills in practice, but making sure that we're building on that is key.